All right, Fletcher, you know, you, uh, the opportunity to play in, in a venerable facility, and I don't know uh, your background in terms of, I'm guessing you are a student of basketball and understand what this this facility and playing the Palestra means and, and playing Penn State in this venue. Any thoughts in particular on that? Yeah, it's obviously pretty cool, a place that's been around a while. I saw a video today showing, uh, like, LeBron in high school played there, yeah. Kobe played there, so... Really just a bunch of well-known figures and a bunch of history that's been there. It's obviously something not many people get to do. You've also had the chance to practice the last two, couple of days at the Sixers facility. Yeah. A, how's practice been since the Ohio State game, but also what's it like to be in that facility? Yeah, it's obviously super sweet. It's um, very high-tech high, high tech stuff and um, not something that everyone gets to do every day. So yeah. take, taking advantage of it. Um, and then we've just been focused on ourselves and getting ready for Penn State. You know, the... the uh, Obviously, you've hit two huge shots in the last two games. You've also had some challenges make, shooting the basketball. How do you keep your confidence at level up and, and uh, just the way you've played, uh, having to make shots, knowing it's, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to you a lot of times and you've been able to come through? Yeah, really just putting in the work before and after practice, getting stuff done, and um, just building the trust with the coaches and uh, my teammates. So if they trust me, it, uh, you can go a long way. And um, really just putting that trust back in others. I see them work, so I know they're going to knock down that shot if it comes to them. So really just uh, trust one another. You had the opportunity and or, or the, the experience, I should say, of, you know, David Jenkins comes in, plays well in the first half. You don't start the second half. You come in and play well. What was that like for you, and how did you internalize that that experience of, you know, at least you sat the first part of the second half? Yeah, it was just another game, and uh, the coach is doing what they think was best to win, and um, I, I agreed with them. I was pretty bad in that first half, but uh, really just us coming together as one and doing what it takes to win. Yeah. Turnovers are something you guys are going to need to focus on, continue to focus on. You're usually really been pretty good at that. Last couple of games have been a challenge. What to, what to challenge does Penn State bring to that from a defensive standpoint, but also from your ability to clean that up as a team? Uh, just their length and experience. They got a bunch of older guys that have played a lot of games. So really just us coming ready to play and worrying about ourselves and making sure we're ready to go out there and beat Penn State. Yeah. They obviously are a team, it seems, that uh, has – play smart they play old, they're a little bit older in some positions mm -hmm. and yet you guys also maybe younger but play smart as well do you look at that type of game tomorrow as a game that uh, are between two teams that uh, know how to play this game well and and do it maybe differently but do it strategically yeah uh they're very well coached with shrewsbury yeah. so it'll be good to go out there and play against another high-powered offensive team and uh with some different lineups there out there they'll probably go small quite a bit with um with uh, Pickett handling the ball quite a bit. So really just coming out ready to play against their lineups and their, uh, their good offense. Thank you. Yeah.